Let us pray. Eternal God, source of all life and knowledge, we pause in prayer during this holy season of Advent to remember your presence among us and to place before you these graduates whose curiosity, passion, and perseverance during unprecedented times on campus and in our world have brought them to this day. We are grateful for ideas that surprised them, faculty and staff who challenged them, experiences that inspired them, and family and friends who supported them along the way. We pray that your Holy Spirit, present with us as we confer their degrees, will guide each one into the future, keeping in focus all that they have learned here, inspiring them to follow in the footsteps of our Marianist founders, to build communities of justice and peace in solidarity with those in most need, and giving them courage to live deeply their vocations and to use their unique gifts, their education, and their vision to build a better world for all. Spirit of love, may this time of graduation be a time to celebrate your abundant life within and around us all. Let us each be renewed by your infinite mercy and the joy of this day. We praise and bless you now and forever. Amen. Good morning. In what has been an extraordinarily challenging year, I am especially honored to be here with you today. Earning a degree is an achievement to be recognized and commemorated. Doing so in the midst of a worldwide pandemic takes your accomplishments to an even more remarkable level. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I extend sincere congratulations to all of our graduates and join with you in celebrating the culmination of your years of hard work, sacrifice, and resilience. Our board extends a very warm welcome to parents, family members, and friends of our graduates. We know that earning this degree is never easy or a solitary journey. Your guidance, support, and encouragement have been absolutely essential. It is with immense gratitude that we recognize you for your role in cultivating the faith, heart, values, and work ethic that characterize your special graduate. The University of Dayton has been in existence since 1850. Our Marianist traditions are timeless and transformative. Our faith is strong, our culture is vibrant, and our family spirit is indelible. Never in our 170 year history have our institutional values and foundation been so tested or so evident as they have been in recent months. Graduates, this transformative education in the Marianist tradition will be a part of you for the rest of your life. We challenge you to go forth and live a great life. Be generous with your love and compassion. Persevere, make a difference, pursue your dreams, live your faith, improve your communities. Be emboldened by the love of your families and your bond to this university to turn your own unique dreams into bold moves dedicated to the common good. Always remember, wherever life takes you, you are now and forever will be part of the University of Dayton family. Congratulations. Good morning, class of 2020, and welcome to your commencement ceremony. Not exactly how you envisioned it the past few years, but still a moment of celebration and great pride. I do dearly wish that I were looking out over a sea of your beautiful faces at UD Arena right now, but I feel your presence here and deep in my heart. I admire how you've persevered since last spring to reach this pinnacle of achievement and joy. I pay tribute to your families and your faculty mentors who have believed in you 
and believe you have the power to use your education to shape a better future. You may feel that you will always be known as the pandemic class, but this uncertain time will not last forever. You will not be defined by this moment. You are too talented, too focused, too intent on making a difference. Instead, you will define the days ahead. You are our future scientists, engineers, educators, poets, artists, humanitarians, and change makers. I can't wait to see how you will use your world-class UD education to change the world. I've thought about how UD educates for adaptation and change. It's one of the pillars of our Catholic Marianist philosophy of education. Yet no class or experiential learning opportunity could have prepared you for this moment, could have prepared any of us, in all honesty. Yet you have met this moment with persistence, resilience, creativity, and selflessness. And you will always be united by this experience. Baby boomers have long been called the me generation, defined largely by self-absorption. Just think of any episode from the popular sitcom Seinfeld. That got me thinking, what would your generation's moniker be? What would your class's moniker be? As you juggled classes, both online and in person since March, you have struck me as the, it's not all about me generation. By wearing masks and following social distancing, you have said to each other, I protect you, you protect me. You understand more fully the meaning of community, even in our socially distanced world. You have modeled what it means to work for the greater good. Long after the pandemic ends, these lessons will carry you throughout your lives. Isn't that what a Catholic Marianist education is all about? It has prepared you to meet the moment in three important ways, I believe. First of all, your education has prepared you to be selfless, to work in community with others, to do great things together. The past is littered with conquered diseases, tuberculosis, smallpox, polio. They were all horrible, but the human race conquered them and became stronger. It would not surprise me and would bring me great joy if graduates in your class helped develop a vaccine to combat a future infectious disease or a way to help society's most vulnerable during a public health crisis like the one we're facing today. Secondly, your education has prepared you to shape the future with a moral compass as your guide. Without a doubt, today's challenges are daunting. Racism and religious intolerance, poverty and its effects on education and health, violence, divisiveness, incivility, the deterioration of our environment, what Pope Francis calls our common home. I urge the class of 2020 to use your education to serve others in ways that will change the narrative of our times. Work together to build socially just communities. Work across differences to find solutions for the world's most pressing problems. And when the challenges look insurmountable, never lose faith that you can help create a better and more just future for all particularly the most vulnerable. And finally, your education has prepared you to be flexible and able to transform for the times. Albert Einstein got it right when he said, the measure of intelligence is the ability to change. The early Marianists showed us what it meant to transform when they turned a farm into a school for boys and then into our major Catholic university. Talk about a bold move. Because you have navigated the headwinds of change, you know you can adapt to any alternative plan the future throws at you. You've come to understand that flexibility is the watchword no matter what profession you enter. And as you enter an uncertain future at this inflection point in history, I urge you to dream boldly, act with conviction, and lean into the moment. Keep moving forward without fear toward a life of great purpose and service. Today, we join in solidarity over the miles with your family and friends to celebrate the conferral of your hard-earned degrees. 
Well, I've described you as the, it's not all about me class. Today, it is all about you. As your president and as a representative of the UD faculty, staff, vowed religious, board of trustees, and all of Flyer Nation, I salute you and your accomplishments in this moment of human need and across your time as a University of Dayton student. Congratulations, class of 2020. Be well, stay safe, and go Flyers. The University of Dayton Fall Graduation Ceremony for the year 2020 is herewith convened. On behalf of the University of Dayton community, I extend a warm welcome to our newest graduates, their family members, and friends. Graduates, you have each received a medal bearing on one side the image of Blessed William Joseph Chaminade, the founder of the Society of Mary, the religious order that sponsors the University of Dayton. On the other side is the seal of the university, in Chaminade's ever-inspiring example, we entrust you to go forth living humbly, acting boldly, and working imaginatively and prayerfully to build community throughout the human family. At this time, I invite you to place your medal around your neck in concert with the colors of our university. Today, there is much to be proud of as we gather virtually to honor our graduates. At this ceremony, we're awarding 18 doctoral 573 masters, two licentiates of sacred theology, nine educational specialists, and 408 undergraduate degrees. We also confer today three posthumous degrees, honoring three cherished members of our UD family who completed the requirements of their degree programs, but left us much too soon. Jillian Parker will receive a Bachelor of Arts degree, Father Christopher George Roberts will receive a licentiate of sacred theology, and Emily Hicks will receive a doctor of philosophy degree in educational leadership. We miss them deeply, but celebrate the contributions each one of them made to learn, lead, and serve at the University of Dayton. At this time, our president, Dr. Spina, and I will confer the degrees upon the graduates of the class of 2020. Honorable President, it gives me great pleasure to present the candidates who have completed all the requirements prescribed by the graduate or undergraduate faculty or the Pontifical Theological Faculty of the Marianum for their respective degrees and to recommend them as worthy of being awarded the degrees for which they have been approved. Honorable Provost Benson, upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority of the Board of Trustees of the University of Dayton, and the state of Ohio, and by delegation of the president of the Marianum, I confer upon the qualified candidates the appropriate degrees as listed in the commencement program. I therefore have the honor of welcoming you into the company of scholars with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. With great pleasure, I introduce the December 2020 graduates from the School of Education and Health Sciences. Congratulations to each of you. Megan A. Brinker, Bachelor of Science in Education, Adolescence to Young Adult Education. Chase Jonathan Knacker, Bachelor of Science in Education, Adolescence to Young Adult Education. Sydney G. Bardock, Bachelor of Science in Education, Early Childhood Education, Cum Laude. Adam James Bainlin, Bachelor of Science in Education, Education and Allied Studies, Cum Laude. Lauren Marie Bogar, Bachelor of Science in Education, Education and Allied Studies, Cum Laude. Joseph Frederick Byrne, Bachelor of Science in Education, Education and Allied Studies. Amanjot Kar, Bachelor of Science in Education, Education and Allied Studies. Hannah Knight, Bachelor of Science in Education, Education and Allied Studies. Brooke Taylor Pewterbog, Bachelor of Science in Education, Education and Allied Studies. Rachel Elizabeth Renahan, Bachelor of Science in Education, Education and Allied Studies. Abigail Francis Shannon, Bachelor of Science in Education, Education and Allied Studies. 
Michael James Hayes, Bachelor of Science in Education, Intervention Specialist. Catherine Rose Turkowski, Bachelor of Science in Education, Pre-Physical Therapy, Summa Cum Laude, University Honors. Daniel Francis Begley, Bachelor of Science in Education, Sport Management. Kyle F. Butts, Bachelor of Science in Education, Sport Management, Cum Laude. Turner Dalton Cook, Bachelor of Science in Education, Sport Management. Will Ferrebach, Bachelor of Science in Education, Sport Management. Marcos A. Ledesma Rebollo, Bachelor of Science in Education, Sport Management. Jamie Lynn Peterson, Bachelor of Science in Education, Sport Management. Allison M. Lanzotti. Caitlin Elizabeth Murray, Bachelor of Science in Health Science, Health Science, Cum Laude. Elizabeth K. Pax, Bachelor of Science in Health Science, Health Science, Summa Cum Laude. Garrett Christopher Shura, Bachelor of Science in Health Science, Health Science, commissioned into the United States Army. Nolan M. Dooley Homish, Bachelor of Science in Sport and Wellness, Sport and Wellness. Andrew David Lutkins, Bachelor of Science in Sport and Wellness, Sport and Wellness. Devin Lera Van, Bachelor of Science in Sport and Wellness, Sport and Wellness. Braden Allen Wagle, Bachelor of Science in Sport and Wellness, Sport and Wellness. Congratulations to the University of Dayton's December 2020 graduates. Good luck in everything you do and please come back and visit. Congratulations on your accomplishments and a great future to all of you. Go Flyers! Congratulations, 2020 grads. I'm very proud to be a fellow UD alum with you. Now go out in the world and do some great things. Congratulations to all of our UD graduates who hail from around the globe. We're so proud of you and we can't wait to see what you'll do to make the world a better place. Congratulations, graduates. You've persevered through some of the toughest times any of us have ever seen. You're graduating at a time of historic challenges, but I know that your time at UD has equipped you well to face those challenges. Go out there, make a difference. God bless. Congratulations and I wish you good luck and good health moving forward. Go Flyers. And I just wanna say congratulations to all of our August and December 2020 graduates. You did it, and we are so proud of you. Congratulations to all the graduates of the University of Dayton, especially those from the International Marion Research Institute. Congratulations, and I wish you the very best. Oh, hello. Allow me to take- Five December. seconds left. I only have five seconds. Three seconds. Three seconds. December 2020 graduates, congratulations! I'm Ray Blakeney, class of 93 and president of your Alumni Association. UD is greater because of your contributions in the classroom, community, and beyond. My 20 words for the class of 2020, you've already stayed connected to UD and to each other virtually. Keep it going, it will last a lifetime. Congratulations, alumni, and go Flyers! Congratulations, class of 2020. We celebrate your academic achievement, hard work, and persistence in earning a University of Dayton degree. We cherish the close relationships you've cultivated with fellow students and with faculty and staff. We look forward with anticipation to the many ways in which you will carry forward the mission and values of our 170-year-old Catholic and Marianist University to learn, lead, and serve throughout your life. I offer my gratitude to all of the faculty and staff who've guided and inspired your UD journey and extend my appreciation to the friends and family who have supported you. Commencements are beginnings, not endings. As we send you forth from UD, our pride in your accomplishments and the anticipation of your new beginnings are sources of great joy for the entire UD community. We conclude our ceremony with a blessing of our graduates. In our Roman Catholic tradition, we are celebrating the season of Advent. In the liturgy for the third Sunday of Advent, we will read a passage from Isaiah the prophet that is an appropriate exhortation for our graduates as we send them forth to learn, lead, and serve. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor, 
to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favor from the Lord and a day of vindication by our God. We pray then for their journey in these unprecedented circumstances. May the challenge to learn, lead, and serve that has permeated their educational experience here at the University of Dayton give vision and purpose to the next steps on the journey of their lives. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we pray today in a special way for those on whom the university has conferred degrees. The end of their university education has not been the time that any of them expected, nor a time that any of us have asked for. But the unprecedented events have also been the opportunity for new lessons, lessons of solidarity and the common good. The events have invited us all to take nothing for granted, especially the formative experiences of the campus experience. Relationships with friends, faculty and staff, experiential learning, opportunities for self-discovery, and much more. We have been invited to respond to the given circumstances with humility and courage, but most importantly, to bear the cost of love. So we ask you, gracious God, may you teach those recognized this day to walk by faith when they cannot walk by sight. May they be guided by the words and deeds of Jesus Christ as they continue the search for truth, the truth that will set them free. May your spirit, the spirit of love, descend upon them and inspire them to love not only in word and in speech, but in deeds and truth, so that they help build communities in a world where the dignity of each person is upheld and respected, and all people join in the search for peace, justice, and love. May the blessing of you, our loving God, descend upon all those who have supported them, parents, family, friends, mentors, and teachers. May your power and strength sustain them now and always in their commitment to learn, lead, and serve. We make this prayer to you, our gracious God, now and forever. Amen.